Ricky Hanshu is testing the water from the stream which runs through his East Kentucky property in the Appalachian Mountains. The news isn't good. The iron level at the pond where this is coming out of was over four times, almost five times the legal limit of iron coming out. If it's over 500, the government considers it a destroyed stream, not, not repairable. And this one was 1910. Hanshu says the reason for the water's toxicity is the practice of mountaintop removal coal mining. This Google Earth animation shows the location of Ricky Hanshu's property in 1995, before the mountaintop removal mining began. Jump to the present day, and it's clear that a large majority of the mountaintops around Hanshu's property have been removed. Appalachian Voices Director of Programs, Matt Wasson, agrees with Hanshu. He is trying to stop this type of mining. We used Google Earth because you can communicate a lot of the human stories, uh, the human tragedies that are brought on by mountaintop removal coal mining, but I think what it gets lost or what, what is hard to convey is the scale. That could just be happening in one place or two places, but what Google Earth allows you to do is show very simply uh, that this is millions of acres. Kentucky Coal Association President Bill Bissett says the Google Earth images are one-sided. When you look at Google Earth and things to look at, here's a scarred area, but right next to it could be a well-reclaimed area that you simply won't see. Why? Because it's been well-reclaimed. It's green again. 4,000 square kilometers of Kentucky has been mined using this method, according to Bissett. He says that even though mountains can't be restored to their former state, mining companies do the best they can. But for residents like Ricky Hanshu, that's not enough. Not only is the stream on his property destroyed, but he has also had to move out of his mobile home. He claims the blasting from nearby mines has cracked the walls. My family's been here around 200 years. Uh, my dad gave me this farm and, and my dream was, uh, when I moved up here a couple years ago, was to build a home for my daughter to have when I'm gone. But with this toxic stream, uh, I'm, I'm really uh, thinking about not building here. Currently 48 percent of U.S. electricity is supplied by coal. According to Wasson, only 10 percent of this is obtained through mountaintop removal mining, a percentage he thinks is not worth the damage done. Tara Cleary, Reuters, Kentucky.